Hello, this is part 7 of our tutorial where we are creating an interactive web application and uh, uh, we'll be adding more material options in this tutorial so we get three sorts of wood and three metals which uh, we want to be present on the scene in order to be replaced by the user clicks so let's add these options uh, to do this to do our uh, actually we want this interactive object to be present on the scene so let's add some objects and uh, let's begin with uh, wood planks uh, we can add uh, so let's um, uh, go to add and uh, select mesh and cube and it immediately adds a big cube and uh, we'll be scaling it down uh, by using uh, this scale tool so that uh, uh, it becomes uh, smaller and uh, looking like a plank Right, something like this and move it to to some other position so for example um, we can move it uh, on the floor just add it <coughs> here uh, look good you can move, rotate it a bit and um, let's assign a material so go to the material tab select wood one wood one uh, by the way I noticed that we forgot to to rename our material for the sphere so let's rename it like uh, maybe sphere okay we assign it it so when we sneak peek so it looks like a plank that we'll be clicking on to change the material so let's um, add some more planks but instead of um, creating them again we can just uh, can uh, make a copy so actually I want it um, uh, how can we make a copy we can make a copy using duplicate objects so go to objects duplicate objects and now most immediately so we switch to rotate and move it uh, maybe rotate it a bit uh, like this like this and uh, move it like this and um, now we need a new material so we get our another wood texture and we want to create a new material so um, we could probably just delete this material from here and create a new material but instead uh, a more efficient way is to just make a copy 
by clicking on the number here uh, this number displays the number of users so we got four users this is uh, the body uh, of the nightstand the drawer this first plank and the second plank um, so instead of uh, creating a new one, we just make copy by clicking on the number click and rename it wood 2 right so uh, actually we want to name the the objects as well because we can name it in their object panel because uh, this will be interactive object we'll be clicking them on them and we need to, uh, to know exact names of these objects because this is how they appear in uh, the puzzles editor which we'll be using later so let's name it blank wood um, let's use underscore blank wood and uh, one and we can copy control c control v wood 2 and we already made a copy of the material so let's close this close it and expand our shader editor and now we see the copied version of the wood material the first wood material and the only thing we want to do is to just replace the texture just replace the texture so the let this texture open and choose the second texture right so we get here a plank with uh, a second texture assigned to it so it's completely new material uh, but uh, it's actually uh, the shader structure is the same we only changed the texture so let's repeat the same procedure and create a third option so make our object copy duplicate object shift D shift D um, make it like um, line here with our over a second maybe make it like this and we want uh, to rename it again because this will be plank wood free and make the material carpet wood free and replace texture delete open texture for free texture free so let's check it yeah we got them, all of them here okay maybe make it a bit um, tighter something like this and closer to uh, to the nice end Like this like this okay so uh, let's add two more metals so uh, for in order to be able to change the metals in the next or uh, in the future we need some buttons like interactive objects so let's add some sphere 
add mesh UV sphere. So let's add it and scale it down. Uh, we can uh, scale it down uniformly uh, by using transform and um, actually not transform but um well actually we can uh, scale it with uh, this manipulator and make it even using um numbers okay so let's move it to the place ah uh, yeah maybe Uh, maybe it's too big. Let's make it okay. So sneak peek. See how it looks. That's okay. Um, change shading to smooth. By going to object and shade smooth, right? So let it uh, become smooth. Actually, uh, let's rename it right, right away and uh, name it Sphere Chrome as it will display our Chrome material. So select Chrome here and let's duplicate just like we did with the planks. So uh, I remember the shortcut Shift D or you can do it by going to the object menu and duplicate object. So Shift D and uh, move it a bit. like this rename and uh, we will name it paint we want paint material paint black so uh, let's create the material so we got material here let's duplicate it duplicate the crown rename it paint black and now let's modify this material so it looks like our painted non-glossy material so we'll change its base color to black to black right and uh, remove metalness and uh, add some roughness like uh, make it um, uh, so let's make it um, actually two point point two and so total three, three things were changed so we changed color we chain metallic factor and rose roughness a bit. So let's check it how it looks. So it looks like this. That's cool. And uh, what we need is a third material and a third sphere to represent this material. Let's add it. Uh, let's rename it to sphere paint white white and duplicate the material as well paint white and make it white so let's change the color the color change to white 
something like this and uh, that's it that's all we want to change let's check yeah so we got now free wood options and free metal options this is it for this tutorial uh, thanks for watching